Welcome to the Project Endeavour VR experience. Please put the video in VR mode by clicking this symbol. Now place the phone into the front pocket of your headset. Make sure you look all around you. Enjoy the experience. Hello and welcome to the Project Endeavour VR experience. I'm Stephen Kybird, Head of Vehicle Deployment at Octobotica. Today, we're going to introduce you to our autonomous vehicle and let you take a ride in it. But before that, let's take a closer look and see how it works. This is a standard Ford Mondeo car that you could buy from any dealership. Internally, it's almost unaltered. We always have a safety driver sitting behind the steering wheel who can take over if needed. We also have an engineer sitting where you are now who can monitor the computer systems during operation. Mounted on the vehicle, we have the sensors that allow the car to see and detect the environment around it in all weather conditions. We have three different kinds of sensor that work together. On the top of the vehicle, we have cameras and LiDAR scanners. And down here on the front, we have a radar. We fuse all this data together to give an accurate picture of the world around us. Cutting edge machine learning algorithms allow the vehicle to operate in complex urban environments completely autonomously. All of this work is done by a computer, the brains of the vehicle, which is mounted here under the boot floor. So that's the tour of the vehicle and all its systems. Let's take a trip so that you can experience riding in autonomy. If you're ready, let's go. After the safety checks, the vehicle is now in autonomy. As you can see, the safety driver has his hands close to the steering wheel at all times, has his attention focused on the road and on the vehicle's behaviour, and is ready to take control if necessary. For added safety, in situations where the vehicle needs to leave its own lane, the safety driver okays the move by pressing a button on the stalk located behind the steering wheel. Autonomous vehicles, also referred to as AVs, need to be able to deal with all traffic scenarios. They recognise traffic lights, predict the behaviour of other road users, and drive cautiously to avoid potential risks from, say, someone standing behind a parked vehicle. Unprotected turns where there are no traffic lights can be tricky situations for human drivers. If you look right, you can see that vehicles are stopped behind a traffic light. Looking left, though, you can see that a bus is approaching. Once the bus passes, if you look right again, you'll notice that the light has turned green and the road is not clear. By checking the situation at the intersection yourself, Try and guess when the AV will make the turn. AVs are able to monitor other road users, assess the situation and make safe decisions of when to move. The movement of cyclists is often difficult to predict so it's important to give cyclists space and drive around them carefully. The sensors on our AV allow it to have a 360 view of the world, leaving no blind spots around the vehicle. If you look left, you'll just see a cyclist pass by. The AV has been tracking it for a while. To ensure a safe distance around the cyclists, the vehicle is driving slowly behind, waiting for a gap to open. Once it's safe, the vehicle makes the manoeuvre. Do you think it would have been OK to make a move earlier? Or did that feel like the safest moment to overtake?
In a busy urban centre with buses, vehicles and lots of pedestrians, the challenge is to ensure you're aware of everyone and everything moving around you. If you look at the onboard screen below, you'll see a feed from our LiDAR scanners. An AV uses sensors like this to make note of all road users, track and predict their movements, and understand whether they'll be affecting its path. These sensors can operate day and night in all weather conditions. The different sensors are used for cross-checking, to be absolutely certain to detect everything. Now let's have a look at a particularly challenging road feature, the busy roundabout. Looking out of the right window, you'll see how the traffic is arriving. Try to predict when the car might move off. Sometimes we run into unexpected and unpredictable situations often referred to as edge cases. These complex scenarios are one of the reasons why autonomous vehicle services are still in the pilot phase, so that the technology can continue to develop to handle them. In some situations, AVs react a little differently to humans. They're tracking much more than a single pair of human eyes can see and react much more quickly than a human in the event of rapidly changing conditions on the road. On the right, you'll see one of the other AVs in our fleet. Driving behind it is what we call a follow car, which acts as a buffer between the AV and any other following traffic. This and many other safety measures during our developing and testing phases ensure that our AVs can be introduced safely onto UK roads during our public road trials. Thank you for driving with us today. We hope you enjoyed it. Please take some time to fill out our survey to let us know what you thought. Links are in the description below. Goodbye.